and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the first round of the tournament. We got our next seasonal tournament here. We have nine rounds and we are just starting right now. As you can see, it says next match starts in one minute. Uh, we have our lineup over here. We have Jarvin, Lulu, Shen, Renekton, Sejuani, and uh, Zoe Lux. So those are going to be our three decks today. A teak tree. Thank you so much for the good luck. Oh no, Mervin says BBG misregistration. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, I am. I just started. I just started the stream right now. I am a little behind as well. Hey, the sub anniversary for Sai Goomba, also. Thank you, Cabo. Good luck as well. Okay, here we go. We're we're getting started. It already took a minute off of my time. Oh, all right. Let's see. What are we playing against? Deep, Vladimir Braum, and Scouts. So we get to ban one of these decks, and honestly, I don't know which one to ban. To be honest, yeah, it's not going to be this. I'm going to play against this. So we have. I don't know why, but I like writing them down. So we have Tracker, Squire. I know some people just do like the screenshots and everything. I like writing stuff down myself. So that's just kind of a personal preference. And I write it down in two columns. I put the units over on one side. And the uh, spells over on another. Lots of threes. I like that. It makes it a little easier. Only two repost. Then we have Bannerman, especially like the two Radiant Guardian. Like that's that's definitely something that I saw here that makes me not want to ban this deck. Um, that's a good card against aggro, but we're not playing aggro, so I don't. I'm not really scared of Radiant Guardian in my list. So, all right, so we're not banning that. I maybe that ban Vladimir Brom or maybe Deep. All right, so Deep. Maybe I just ban Deep because Vladimir Brom. Let's see. I kind of always lose to Vladimir or Braum, but yeah, maybe it's Mervin says got to ban deep because like Vladimir Braum is just a, a deck that wants to win, you know, in fair in combat, and that's kind of what all of my decks are designed is to beat the the decks that want to win fair in combat. I don't know. They're playing Transfusion and Troll Chant and Ice Shard. Am I really that scared of deep? Man, I don't know. I don't think I'm that scared of deep. Um, I think we're gonna ban Vladimir Brom. I think we're gonna do that. So let me make sure I didn't forget anything here. Everything else is three ofs. Yeah, I think I'm just going to ban Vladimir Brom. Okay. So let's see. Which one are they going to choose first? I'll start with Zoe Lux. Okay, here we go. First round. Man, yeah, I... Just getting started. Okay, so we're playing against scouts. Don't really want... Yeah, we don't really need this card. But we'll keep the others. So basically, like, this can get, like, Blinding Assault, Ranger's Resolve, Sharp Sight. That's honestly not that bad for, like, one extra mana. Yeah, so it's best of three. Basically, you gotta win with both of your decks. So one penitent squire. No misfortune, no misfortune, no misfortune. Ooh, that's a good sign. Of no misfortune. 
but they can still play it. No hmm. find a way to take out this misfortune. I really need, like, a single combat. Okay. Well, that does help. Because I need to kill it. Not in combat. In her radiant blessing. Meteor shower should help as well. I must reach the king. Well, that's very good for me that they attacked with the misfortune. I need one more mana with that Sunforger. Throw other cards. My shield is yours. Press on. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. You're covered. Ugh. These bright cell protectors killing me. For the glory of Demacia. So just one card. Why would that not attack? Why would you not attack with that card? It just uses my mana so well to be able to play that right now. So, so far, Relentless Pursuit's been the only spell they have played. Right? I guess, I guess, a Blinding Assault also. So the biggest thing that they could have here is like repose. They have two repose. That'd be like the the worst card for me to see. Okay, no repose. This is looking good. That's looking good. Whew, all right. First game in the books. But remember, it's best two out of three. So we won game one, but now we got to still win one of games two or three. So basically now we have our Zoe, Zoe Lux is, is done. So now we got to win with either, um, you know, with, with Jarvan, Shen, Lulu against one of those two decks. Jarvan, Lulu, Shen. Okay, here we go. We'll see if they bring back the same deck. Yes, they do. And I, you know, obviously things always change, like, you know, game by game, but I think this should be a good matchup for us. Because we have 
like we just go a little bit bigger but we got to stabilize like how they win of course is being very aggressive and killing us right away all right so blinding assault and relentless pursuits are the only deny targets thank you jazz have a good day at work but thank you for the uh, thank you for the cheers Yeah, this is the kind of game where we really wanted, like, Laurent Protégé, Shen, Lulu, all of those kind of cards. Didn't find any of them. You know, the, you know, the two fours, three fives, those kind of things. Got a slower hand. Yeah, they wanted to play Quinn here. I'm gonna pass and have them waste five mana. Or I get a Screeching Dragon in play. Stand with me, brothers and sisters. I guess that I think that block's worth it. So they have one Jarvan in their deck. Jarvin killing Jarvin. They appeared out of nowhere. Nothing gets between me and my mark. They got lots of cards over there. Quinn's blinding assault. They have three Rangers Resolve and three Sharp Sight. That's one of the worst draws in our deck right there, the Green Blade. Caretaker. Hey, Talkrek. Looked good a little bit ago. Okay, sounds good, Tugrick. My steel is yours. Show them our metal. Fall to our standard. <laughs> Perhaps they realize they've already lost. Yeah, I mean. It's just not, we just don't really have a good single combat. Like, yeah, I could single combat 4-3, but... I don't know. Yay, Shen!
Sweep them away. Yeah, Scythria not good. They drew they drew all their top end, <laughs> right? Two Quinn, both their Quins, the Jarvan, Scythria. Uh, this has not been good. If this does end up like this, you know, we're not in the worst spot ever, because, like, we both have... We basically kind of be even. That was certainly the card I did not want to see. Not even anymore. That's the worst draw in our deck again. I must reach the king. At least they also drew a one drop at least. I am one with the land. Follow my lead. Just a little farther. Okay. Third attack for Quinn. Best draw would be Bright Steel Protector. Hmm. Okay. So they are basically out of cards. I, I, I mean, I have a deny that's kind of useless. But we're basically both in top deck mode. Leaf Feather Tracker. Why are we drawing our one mana cards here? Uh, that's why that's why I'm only playing four one mana cards, because in these kind of matchups, especially in the late game, drawing the one mana cards is so bad. I think I have to do this challenge, because otherwise they attack with Quinn, Quinn's leveled up, Quinn makes the other thing challenge. I think I gotta do this. And so I hope they drew something I get to deny. Because it's basically two one v two one, and then their blank card versus deny. We should have better cards than they do on average, right? Like we have more top end stuff. The Three are no easy they drew their third Quinn, though. Yeah, we have we have more top end stuff than they do. We should have a better. Uh, better draws on average for a top deck battle. Because their, their Jarvan's gone. I guess they've, they've drawn one of the three Scythrias. That's their third Quinn. I've already gotten a Bannerman. No. Not the best. <laughs> Soldier, to me. Yep. Because we know that... Alright, so they haven't been playing those cards over there, so we know that they're spells. Follow my lead. Okay, cool. Not a second. Relentless pursuit. We swim within the flows of magic. Magic. I'm one of the good guys, 
Because that, that card has to be Ranger's Resolve, right? It's either Ranger's Resolve or Sharp Sight or Repost. It's one of those. This coin's about to level up, though. If it is if it is Ranger's Resolve, I guess I don't kill them either. Yeah, I guess I don't kill anything either way. It's one of those three cards, though. It's either Ranger's Resolve, Sharp Sight, or Repost. A gift from the river folk. Oh, yeah, smart. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta beat deep now. They top decked a lot better than I did. Gotta be deep. Bright Steel Protector, where are you? That's why I play Bright Steel Protector. Man, that was really disappointing. Because it, it started with like drawing those green clay caretakers, right? Like around turn six, turn seven. It was like that turn six through like turn ten that we just drew very poorly with those drawing. I think out of four draws, we drew three one drops out of four draws. And there's only four one drops in the whole deck. And we were drawing those in the late game. I'm not sure about you, Flea Feather Tracker, against Deep. What I really want you to do, I want you to take out, like, Dead Bloom Wanderer. Yeah, this can, this can definitely go bad. That that was a pretty favorable matchup that we just lost. That was the matchup we that I was really counting on winning. This is a perfect hand so far. They're only one drop, they're only two drop. Who does not know the name We lost to Scouts. And not only just like regular like Radiant Guardian Scouts, <laughs> which, oh, uh, man, that was. Their one Jarvan they had was awesome, though. Yeah, yeah, I know Scouts is a bad match or like yeah I know that's a great matchup for us but yeah man opponent with the hand we swim within the flows of magic Shen you gotta show up <laughs> you're the best card in our deck Shen where are you why don't you ever show up Okay, as far as spells go, Withering Whale and One Atrocity, those are like their only things. And, a, and Vile Feast, I guess. Vile Feast, Withering Whale. So Nopify only hits Vile Feast. Water changes but never breaks. Yeah, I was really debating between Scar Grounds and Deep of which one to ban. Thank 
Grace, beauty in the play. I am one with the land. Rankler, thank you so much for the tier three sub. Thank you very much. Okay, so they, yes, yeah, so they tossed Atrocity. Withering Will, the Terror of the Tides. Well, I mean, it can come back though, but Stalking Shadows. One Abyssal Eye, one Jettison. All right, so you have two Withering Wells, the Atrocity, the Joel Hunters. Run them through, hard to defend. Again, we're sitting here in the late game drawing our one drops. Last two draws, Green Glade Caretaker, Green Glade Caretaker. Kind of wish I just didn't play any one drops. <laughs> I kind of wish. Wish we didn't play any of them. They're killing us with these late game draws. All right, so they're, they're basically out of cards to deny at this point. They have one one withering will, one vile feast. I guess I didn't. What what else did they toss with this jettison? Man, good hand. They got multiple champions. This is really disappointing. Yeah, so now yeah, I thought they tossed the other Vile Feast. So yeah, they're out of those. I guess we can divide we can deny the Devourer Adepts thing. There's there's been two seasonal tournaments before, and we went um, Four and one in the last one. It was five rounds, and I think three and two in the other one. Either three and two or four and one. In one of those, in the first one, I think three and two. Second time that Terror Tides got tossed. Of course, he came back in the deck with the Nautilus. Her well, that was basically the only card that could help save us, I think. Or give us a chance. Now Nautilus's champion spell Riptide, we can deny that as well. The rot must be cut away. Protect our grove. Grove so we got four cards. I really wish we could play that scout matchup again. <laughs> uh, that's disappointing to lose that game. Oh, 
Alright, well, we are 0-1. Man, I wish I could play that scout matchup again. <laughs> uh. Jarvan Lulu Shen, the deck that's my best deck, lost both games for me. But of course, no, no Shen on turn four. But um, you know that was a good that was a good deep hand, right? Like they had their their turn their only turn one play, their only turn two play. They had Maokai on four, they had Nautilus on seven. Um, you know, it's a good a good deep hand. So uh, give it up to them. That's yeah, uh, that was a that was a close one. You know, between banning that and the Vladimir Brom, you could see banning either one. Um, but yeah, that was a good good deep hand. No champions for me anywhere. Um, I did mulligan a Jarvan from my opener, and maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should have kept the Jarvan. Oh well. All right, well, our next round will start in 22 minutes. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, feel free to leave your comments about the, the games there. And, um, oh, well, thank you, Sofa. Thank you. <laughs> Take my energy. All right, will do. Thank you, Sofa. Um... So yeah, leave those comments. Let me know, you know, like how you're doing in the tournament or, um, you know, anything else. I would, I would appreciate that. All right, but thank you so much for watching round one. We still got nine rounds to go. We're still going to be playing them. We'll be posting them later up on YouTube and everything. So hopefully y'all check out the rest of the rounds. Um, it's not over, right? Like, um, you know, eight. Uh, so we're 0 and 1, but there's nine rounds. Eight and 1 will will make it to the next day. And um, 7 and 2 probably will also 7-2 will have like a you know halfway chance of making it there also so uh, we'll keep on playing and we'll see how the future rounds end up all right but thank you so much for watching the first round of the seasonal tournament and i will see you for the next video